when we are in really physical pain and we try not to feel it, how can we control that? How can we stop from feeling that, that it's, it's such a stream, intense pain? Well, first understand that what pain is, is the indicator in the moment of vibrational disparity. In other words, just as negative emotion means that who you really are is beating this drum and who you're being in this moment is beating this drum. So emotion is lightweight pain and stronger emotion is more painful and physical discomfort or pain is just a stronger indicator of vibrational discord. Look at it this way. You have trillions of cells in your body and every one of them know exactly what their part is to play in this whole community called your physical body. So if you have been focusing in a way that is disallowing the energy from flowing, then it could be that the cells of your body have been deprived of some of the well-being that they are seeking by virtue of the thoughts of resistance that you have been thinking. So pain is an indication of resistance. So if pain is an indication of resistance, now think about it. When you ask, it is always given, even if you are a cell in a body. So if a cell in your body is asking and source is flowing, what is being asked for, if pain is present, it means helps on the way, but I'm not letting it in. Pain always means that I'm asking and it's being given, but I'm not allowing. Pain is always the indicator. Step one took place, I ask. Step two took place, source answered. Step three isn't taking place right now, I'm not letting it in. So there's something sort of letting it in like by saying, helps on the way and I'm not letting it in. Just trying to relax, breathe more. Recognizing that pain is a good indicator, not a bad one, because it's an indication that you're asking and that something's in motion. When you feel pain, it means that you're alive and that this gap between who you are and who you really are, that there's some work that is happening right then. We were visiting with a woman in severe pain one day. She has arthritis in her hips. And she said, I hurt all the time. I hurt when I stand up. I hurt when I walk. I hurt when I lay down. I hurt all the time. And she said, how can I hurt like this and find positive emotion? How can I find a better thought when I'm so aware of how badly I hurt? And we said, you can feel pain in your body and feel afraid. Or you can have pain in your body and feel hopeful. And there's a big difference in the vibration of fear and hope. So. If it's possible to separate the now manifestation, which in this case is the pain, from the mental thought, which is the reaching for a thought that is hopeful. If you can separate what is from what will be, it's the same thing we've been talking about all day here today. If you can stand where you are and reach for this, in time, the pain must go away. But if you stand where you are and notice this and stand where you are and notice this and stand where you are and notice this, the pain's just going to become more and more acute because every time you know what you don't want, you ask for what you do want. And every time you ask for what you do want, source sends the energy and pain is energy being sent that you're not allowing yourself to receive. You see, it's like the faster moving river beating you up. So what we would do if we were standing in the physical body who felt pain, we would lie down often. We would find comfortable positions to lie in. We would focus upon the bed beneath us. We would fixate on how soft it is. We would feel appreciation for the fabric that covers our skin. We would bask in the deliciousness of our pillow. We would do everything that we could do to try to distract ourselves from the discomfort of the pain. And when you've got the power of wanting that is present when pain is present and you release resistance just a little bit, big things happen. In other words, it's much easier for someone who's really, really sick to move really fast into wellness than it is someone who's sort of sick because when they're sort of sick, they don't care enough and they don't focus as well. When it matters, you'll find a better feeling thought if you understand the laws of the universe as you do. And then, of course, then you don't need 
the help of medication. Because then... But there's nothing wrong with the medication, because if the medication can distract you from the intensity of the discomfort, in other words, you can line up your energy on or off medication. What happens with people is they take the medication and then they don't feel pain and then they don't feel the need to line up their energy. So they use the medication instead of alignment and then the discomfort just squirts out in another way and another way and another way. So we are not encouraging you not to use the relief that you can find from medication. We're just saying don't replace the only thing that works with it. Very good. Enough for now. Thank you.